going on guys and welcome back to another Sunday vlog. I haven't done one for a while because I was busy with a charity stream for WWF and also a convention I went to in the UK which is absolutely awesome. So many milestones and achievements this week. It's been insane. I've been in a really good mood uh, thanks to you guys and friends. So let's have a talk about that. So the charity stream went really well. We raised over $10,000 for WWF. It just makes me smile and... Uh, it's just amazing how much we raised again, um, and I'm really it makes me again really excited for the next charity stream what we do, which will probably be on Halloween, um, for sister location, but we'll wait and see, see how things go, uh, because it's still a while away. Uh, we also hit 250,000 subscribers during this week, which again is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. Um, I think a few months ago it was at 200,000, so uh, crazy. Um, but, you know, I don't really care about growth and stuff. It doesn't really bother me. Not in a bad way. It's just like, um, you know, I just like you guys as it is. Um, and it's always awesome to welcome more people in our community. Not see it as, oh, I'm growing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The better side of it, just like welcoming new people. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys are new, hello. Uh, and if you guys are old, hello. And if you guys are in between, hello. Um, and... The convention was really awesome. I, f I think I made a vlog a few uh, a few months ago in March um, after the other convention. It's really awesome to see some of you guys there. Um, it gives you it gives um it, it just brings back um, the meaning of why I do YouTube. And th th honestly, that's one of the biggest reasons I go is to meet you guys. And it, it just brings your mood back. Like if you're feeling a bit unmotivated. Uh, a convention meeting your, fr your fans and stuff, uh, it brings that passion back and you just get straight back to work, uh, which is what I'm doing. Um, Health-wise, um, I had a heart scan uh, a day before the convention. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Oh, I, I had, um, it's called the aorta, guys. A bit of factual information. They are, the aorta is the main vein within the body. And what that, uh, if you guys remember ages ago, I spoke about a surgeon saying I might have this um, this uh, genetic problem within me, uh, which makes that vein expand and pop and d makes you dead on the floor, uh, which obviously scared me up. So I've been anxious about it all this time, but I had a scan recently. It says I'm fine for now. Um, but I'm just going to chill now. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'll probably have like yearly checkups just in case or maybe just get it over and we'll just have the uh, genetics test to see if I do have it or not But I'd rather not know. I'd rather just keep having yearly checkups. Is that weird? Because uh, that would make me less anxious uh, Knowing that I might not have it but yeah. Anyway, let's ignore that because I keep talking about my health and I want to keep talking about my health guys I just want to ignore it. I just want to forget about it for a bit, you know, just focus on other things because uh, I don't want the health anxiety to ruin my life for crying out loud. Come on, let's let's just chillax. It's been about it's been nine months now since this has been going on. Uh, we just need to get rid of it. Just chillax a bit. But I have been getting better, other than a headache I've been having for like two weeks now, which is is going by the way. Uh, it was it was uh, apparently a sinus infection. Have any of you guys had that? Apparently they can last for ages. So let me know if you guys have ever had one of those before. It's like pressure here. And uh, you get headaches, so it's horrible. Uh, let me go. Let me know, guys, because um, it's mine's going. I've had mine for about two weeks now, but it's interesting to see if any of you guys have experienced that. Um, let's open some fan mail again. It, it, it's amazing how you guys send me some stuff. Really, really appreciate it. you guys. Are freaking awesome. Uh, really, really positive. So let's open this one. Oh wow! I can I can get guys. Who's that? If you guys watch the WWF charity stream, I think you know what this is going to be. Yep, I thought so. So, 8-bit of Ryan, uh, me, and Raz. For some reason, uh, Ryan's not in here. I think he was too embarrassed because, <laughs> because of his makeup. But yeah, that's really cool, actually. The blood poop it, creepy uncle, um, and tentacle panda. 10 out of 10 for the names. Um, really, really awesome. So, let's check out this letter and have a little read. Oh, you got lovely handwriting. To Dorco, I love your vids and I have watched them for years now. I also have a channel called Skellington Team. Uh, it would mean a lot well to me if you go check it out. Me and my friend Lewis, 
Oh, me! I'm working on a mock-up test of a game called Rex's Diner. I'm 11, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. Rex's Diner sounds actually like a really cool name. Welcome to Rex's Diner! Right, next package. It's a package within a package. So, let's open this up and see what's inside. What is this? This is the first banana. Legitimately real banana. Well, it's not real. It's like a, it looks like a sweet. It's called Bonkers Banana Spray. Wow, look at that. It does look but 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 bonkers. Okay, let's 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 give this a try. Holy shizzle. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet mama. That is actually really nice. <laughs> it's like sour, but it's nice. That did not make any sense. Oh my god. He sent me some Pokemon cards. He sent me some Pokemans. Let's open these up. He sent me some Pokemans. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to do it like this. So, we have an Eevee. Oh, an old generation Eevee from Jungle. Eevee again from Jungle. A Poliwag from the E series. A Bulbasaur, that looks really cool, from the original base set. Ivysaur. Charmander. Charmeleon. And a Charizard. Ah, oh, I'm joking. He wouldn't give you a Char Charizard. Squirtle, a Pikachu with yellow cheeks, Magikarp, um, is that Evertel? Evertel from uh, Pokemon Y, and Energy, oh my god, you sent me a Golem EX, oh, wow, okay, he sent me an EX, Thank you so much for that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put it here. There you go. That looks really cool. Thank you so much for that. That's really nice of you. Jesus. Thanks. Seal. Ghastly. Panita. A Rapidash. A Dark Rapidash. Tangela. Koga's Tangela. That's from the Gym Set series. Dark Raticate. A Magnemite. Surge, Lieutenant Surge. Kadabra. Dratini. A Pidgeotto. And some codes as well for Pokemon Online. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Did you include a letter? Yes, you have. You have included a letter. Let's open this up. Right. And it's typed as well. Lovely. Dear Dorco, hello, my name is Lambo. And before we get into this letter, I want to apologise if it is all over the place and if anything is spelt wrong. Seems okay to me so far. Even autocorrect can't help me. Uh, what is bad because I want to be an author. I've been trying to send you a letter for the past few months, but my mum has always said no because I wanted to send you a banana. I wonder why. Maybe she didn't actually think you wanted to send a banana. Maybe, maybe something else. <laughs> anyway, however, when you started to buy base set Pokemon cards, I thought it was not stupid. It was stupid not to send you some of mine because they were just sitting around. After persuading my mum, I got the whole collection out and sorted through them to find the cards I thought you'd like. Most of the cards are from base set. Thank you so much. Though I did add some of the late set. You sent me an EX. Send me a Golem EX. Also, can you give the Pokemon cards to Razbowski and Ryan and other... Yes, I'll give um, I'll give them those as well. Thank you so much. I'll see them in about three weeks' time. So I'll send... I'll give it them then. Uh, I also sent you a theory. Which is supposed to be for your GCSE. So this theory goes towards your school grades. How cool is that? I'll have a read of that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Honestly. Thank you so much for the cards, and thank you so much for this banana. Again, first time someone sent me a banana before. 
But I really appreciate those cards too. Really, really do. Right, next one is a letter by the looks of it. Let's have a read. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Dorco YouTube. Dear Dorco, my name is Zach. I'm from Alabama in the United States of America. I'm 11 years old and I love your channel. You're one... You're one of the best YouTubers I've ever watched. Even my mom likes you. You, Razbowski, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and Dan TDM are my favorite YouTubers. You guys... You guys are my inspiration to start YouTube, which I'm gonna do in a few years. If you have not already, you should play Outlast. I have a question for you. Do you believe in God? Eh, uh, I do. I do. I keep you... I keep you in your health in my prayers every night. Lots of love. Your friend and fan, Zach Anthony. By the way, Lewis, you should show us your gaming setup. And please subscribe to my best friend's YouTube channel, Shadow Ghost Leader. I will do that, sir. Thank you so much, Zach. Uh, your question was, do I believe in God? That's deep, man. Um, I do. But not like... I don't go to church and stuff, but I still do. Uh, I don't want to set you guys' minds into a deep thought, but like... Uh, I do believe something created everything, so... And it, you go, you go, guys, don't even bother, but you're going to serious deep thought, um, thinking about life and stuff, seriously, it's horrible. Don't do it, because deep thoughts are good if they're positive, but if they turn dark, they can screw you up big time. And I've done it before, guys, I've had deep, dark thoughts before about stuff like that, and it does not, it's not good for you. The human brain likes to know stuff. The human brain doesn't like knowing the unknown, okay? So remember that. The human brain can't cope with not knowing things. Anyway, wow, this letter looks amazing. Right. Hey, Dorco, my name is Toby, aka Go Motion, aka the weird kid who made that crappy poop it side scroll again for the charity live stream. That was good. I wanted to send you this and tell you generally you how much of an inspiration you are to me. I have to comm commend you for being as generous as you are. Staying up for six hours for five nights in a row with a, with, with a day job is absolutely mad, yet you managed to pull it off anyway. And I'm lucky if I wake up my, before noon. The hundreds of thousands of dollars you've donated to charity shows how much you care about giving to other people. And I love how passionate you are about it. My man, we need more people like you in the world. <laughs> Please, you don't, trust me. I'm pretty sure the world would be in chaos if you had a person like me everywhere. Yes, I am annoying. My voice is annoying. Anyway, <laughs> I also wanted to say that I'm very glad that you're starting to get healthier. It's incredibly unfair that such a nice dude has to go through so much. It's so unfair, but I have to give you insane kudos for managing to get through it. There may be ups and downs in life, but no matter the situation, I know you always find a positive, and that's awesome. Uh, about that, um, I think stuff like this um, is obviously negative, but you come out stronger from it, obviously. Um, and I think that's the main thing about it. Like, I think anxiety and my puncture and lung and stuff has made me a, a lot stronger. And hopefully in the future, when I get older and stuff, I learn from what I've been through this year, and it doesn't affect me as badly, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it makes you a stronger person, definitely, and anxiety is not a nice thing to go through, trust me. It's horrible. Um, I think anxiety was worse than when I had a punctured lung in hospital, trust me. Yeah, it, it, it's dark. Regarding the recent FNAF stuff, though, what do you think of the character revealing teasers? Uh, personally, I think Scott has been in to make the teasers more cryptic. Um, but I didn't really like the character revealing. Yeah, I get what you mean about that. Um, like, um, Bram in your face is here's everything outlined in a big red mark as teasers felt like they were nothing to question. Or at least not much. Yeah, like, the, 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 the teasers were a bit in your face. Uh, revealed a lot of stuff. It's like, kind of like FNAF 4 as well, where he showed the nightmare animatronics. There was no, like, no hidden stuff, really. Uh, and maybe that's why he's not re releasing a trailer too, um, because he's revealed a bit too much already. Um, yeah, before I wrap this up, I wanted to quickly apologise that the whole poopers adventure up. Oh yes, cause you, that's fine, don't worry, do not worry about that. Once again, my man, 
I want to thank you for being as kind as you are and keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Here's a banana made of bananas. Actually, they look, look more like rolling pins, but whatever. Actually, sorry I gave up, but please pretend that the bananas are so small you can't even see them. Wait, I drew the poopy instead. 10 out of 10. I think it was supposed to draw the bananas out of little bananas, which were here. <laughs> and he, 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 he kind of gave up. Yeah. But hey, I got this from Insomnia, which was really cool. It's laminated too, it looks really cool. All, all of the Quad Squad got that too. Uh, speaking about the Quad Squad, we're planning to do uh, a separate channel, but we don't know what... That, it's just plans at the moment, we don't know whether we're going to officially uh, do it yet, but keep, remember that guys, keep that in your uh, little like heads, that, that might be happening in the future, and I'm really excited to do that. But yeah, that was a little vlog, guys. It was actually a pretty long vlog. <laughs> Usually these are quite short, but we've got we have had a lot. We've had quite a lot of mail, and um, we took we were rambling as well. So yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, even though it's just me talking f to a camera. And um, lots of love. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for 250,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the amount we raised for WWF this week. And thank you for everything. Lots of love. And I'll see you all next time.